Hey guys, what's up? Just watched Ruslandi Laura versus Delvin Rod uh, Rodriguez, uh, and uh, yeah, it was, it was a good fight. Laura put on his skills. I liked Laura's style here more. He still, he was cautious. Still, he wasn't running cautious though. He wasn't running around. But then you could say Delvin just didn't have the power. Or the ability to make Laura run as much as Canelo did. He's not as strong as Canelo. But, uh, yeah, so that could be that reason. Uh, obviously, I think that is a big reason why uh, Laura s stood more in front of Delvin. Because he just, skill difference was so much different. And Delvin didn't have the strength or the power to, to make Laura back up and run. Like I said, that's why Laura lost that fight against Canelo. He ran. And he didn't throw enough. He didn't make. He he made Canelo miss and not hit cleanly. So his defense was good, but his offense wasn't good. And that's why Laura lost against Canelo, in my opinion. That's why I th I gave Canelo. I had Canelo win that fight simply because Laura wasn't throwing enough punches. He wasn't. He was just like I said. He was making Canelo not miss and not hit him cleanly. So his defense is good, but Laura's offense against Canelo was wasn't good at all. So, but if Laura threw more and made Canelo pay more, then he he could have easily won against Canelo. But then again, would he he would be more open to Canelo as well. So he might have got hurt. So who knows? So he deserved to lose that fight. But uh, this fight, I give Laura's performance. It was an A performance, maybe an A minus, A minus performance, because. His accuracy was so good. He landed over... He landed, like, pretty much landing at will most of the time. As the fight went on, though, the later rounds, he did start to get a little... He wasn't landing as cleanly. Uh, so he was. you could see he was starting to get a little fatigue. He wasn't landing as sharp as he was, but that's expected. But still, it's not that he didn't have greater accuracy in the final championship rounds. It's just... You could see he was fatiguing a bit, but like I said, when you compare to what he was doing in the middle and early rounds, his accuracy was just, he was like landing everything. So, but, uh, anyway, he was, like I said, good performance. The only thing that wasn't good is he, when he had Delvin hurt, he wouldn't go, he didn't go to for the finish at all. Just very smart, and nothing's wrong with that. As long as he's not running and hugging like he was in the, the Canelo fight, I don't got a problem with him not trying to go for the knockout because he put on an exciting show even though he didn't go for the knockout. And even though he was cautious, he was smart, it was still good to watch instead of like he wasn't running. So, but uh, yeah. Good performance. He called out Cotto. He called out Canelo rematch. I mean, I mean, not Canelo, uh, Floyd Mayweather, Cotto, and Triple G. Who do I want to see Laura fight next? Triple G, Gennady Golovkin. He mentioned him, and I think at 116, I think that would be a great matchup. Interesting fight to see how, uh, if Laura, what Laura would do against the pressure of Gennady Golovkin. And uh, would Golovkin knock out Laura? It'd be interesting to see. So, uh... Good performance by Laura, even though he didn't get the knockout. He didn't do as good as Cotto did against uh, Delvin Rodriguez. So that just shows you how much of a beast Cotto is and how good he is with Freddie Roach right now. But still, without getting the knockout, he looked as good as you could without getting the knockout. Maybe a couple more knockdowns would have been a little bit better. But like I said, A-minus performance. Since I would have given him A-plus, obviously, if he knocked him out. I would have given him a little... May, probably I would have given him an A if he dropped him like one more, one or two more times. I would have given him an A. So I'll give him an A minus, just because he didn't get the knockout. But still, the performance was really good. And uh, but like when you, it's just because I'm comparing it to what Cotto did. And like if we, if Cotto, if we knew Delvin Rodriguez never been knocked out before, then I would have given him an A plus. But his. Cotto did it, so there's no reason why. Like, Laura is the bigger man, and he's got decent pop to his punches, but he just couldn't get the, the knockout. So you got to give credit to Delvin Rodriguez for staying in there and not quitting. 
He tried his best. He was just the skill difference, and this was just too much. So, good fight. I want to see Laura fight Gennady Golovkin next.